Hello, hi. It's Minu here. My name is Minu, and welcome to my channel. Um, this is going to be the first video I upload, which is a little bit like I'm a little bit nervous, but everything has it. We have to like take a step. We have to take a risk, and yeah. A review of what I'm going to do in my channel I'm just going to ramble I'm just going to talk 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 about a lot of things like a commentary if you may about like random thing uh, I do not have a pattern of what I'm going to talk about it can be internet commentary book commentary movie commentary um, yes but yeah today for the first video I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about Lion King 2 Simba's Pride and why I, again, me I really want you to consider that this is all coming uh, like because it, these are all my opinions so yes so uh, we all know the original Lion King from I think it was 1994 it's a very well popular animated show by Disney it is one of my favorites of course and I really love it I just love the whole Lion King it just it's really good and Lion King um, had two sick <laughs> two sequels one uh, Lion King 2 Simba's Pride and Lion King one and a half which was basically um, Lion King 1 but uh, told by the perspective of Timon and Pumbaa I watched all of these Lion Kings, uh, both dubbed in Farsi, my mother tongue, and in the original English. And a side, side note, I really do think that the Lion King, the third Lion King, um, the Lion King one and a half, uh, that one was way much funnier in dubbed, uh, but yeah, that's just a side, side note. <laughs> uh so this this video in particular is about Lion King 2 and uh, Simba's Pride and in this video I'm just going to say why I really prefer it over the first Lion King and how I think that it is really underappreciated when it comes to Disney sequels because we all know Disney sequels aren't good they're not the best thing in the world and but this one is a really good movie and I'm going to say why. Let's go. So, what is Lion King 2 about? Lion King 2 ta um, take, um, events takes after, like, happened after the first one, obviously, where Simba has um, become the king and has overthrown Scar, and now he's ruling Pride Rock with Nala, Timon Pumba, and all of the cast. And he has a daughter. Tiara and right off the bat I'm just going to say one reason why I prefer this over the first Lion King Kiara's character way more relatable to, than Simba at least to me I related to Kiara's struggle Kiara's um, just trying to understand the world herself what is true what is not I really connected with her more than I ever did with Simba and I, because I believe in the in Lion King 2, uh, Kiara is a teenager, <laughs> and well, she's a girl, like all of that really, like, connects with me. And because Kiara is stubborn, Kiara is really, uh, Kiara thinks that uh, what she thinks of the world and her surrounding is, is the correct way, she really doesn't try others to advise her and I think that and the, by the end of the movie she really grows as a character and uh, realizes that not everything is you can say black and white so yeah uh, Kiara um, like I said is really is really similar to Simba in so many ways uh, because just like the first um, Lion King movie where Simba asks Mufasa to go sightseeing pride drag um kiara also wants to do that but she insisted on going alone which again a characteristic of kiara that i like because she wants to be that independent gal who really doesn't want anyone to control her 
But Simba, on the other hand, her father is like really you can say protective. She is re he really is like worried about Kiara. He uh, sends Timon and Pumba after her, and they find her. They uh, then Kiara says, "That boy, are you here? Did my father send?" you here and then they do Timon Pumbaa stuff <laughs> they got into an argument and that makes that gives Kiara a time to go to the you know uh, the forbidden world the forbidden land the, like exactly like in the uh, the first Lion King where elephant graveyard was a territory Simba couldn't enter and again in this Lion King there is also a territory where Kiara cannot enter so she goes on that into that territory. She meets Kovu. Again, wanna add, Kovu is a great character. Really, 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 really love him. He's he's just so dope. Then they bond over um, kid stuff, if you may. They run away from a bunch of alligators who trying to, you know, kill them, and when they manage to escape then they want to play a game of tag and right off the bat Kiara you can see is very much more playful she ha she obviously has had a more if not the best childhood a childhood that is like you know good she has her parents love and everything even though she doesn't notice it yet uh, she has that love and affection from her parents while Kovu doesn't you can clearly see that Kobu is really timid you can see Kobu is doesn't know what Kiara is doing when Kiara says today to him that oh, we tag um, I tag you uh, then it's your turn you come after me and he doesn't know the concept of playing because he has grown up to be this you know I would say this cold hearted animal who really doesn't care about anything then when he starts to play uh, then his mother shows up Zira I love Zira while Zira is not as good as as Scar in the first movie but she still has her own characteristic and she's really cool she's really dope I do like the character of Zira and then right after that um, Simba and Nala and a bunch of other lionesses show up to well protect Kiara then uh, Simba and uh, Zira have a talk to talk about how much it is that you are out in my territory go out you are in pride rock you shouldn't be here you are an exile and then when they want to leave Zira tells her that our um, a story our like everything is starting right now and then he takes Kovu and goes back to her home we see Kiara going back to home then her father is angry at her because he tells her that I told you to not go to that like forbidden place uh, you shouldn't have gone there you put yourself in danger you made me worry you made your mom worry and then comes the dare I say a really 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 good song we are one I love that song I don't think you understand I really I love all of the songs in this movie I think they're so good so underrated with um, oh I, f I forgot to mention in the opening where we see in the very first opening where we see Kiara's birth to other animals in the pride uh, rock and um, the song in the opening <sighs> love it I don't remember the name of it uh, what was the name he lives in you I think yeah that just it's just such a good song all of the song in this movie are so 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 good okay yeah I got distracted so he's sing, singing we are one and basically in that song he's mentioned that he's teaching Kiara a life lesson about how there are things in this world that she doesn't understand yet and again like I said that makes that that is the character character that Kiara is she doesn't understand the world right now and she has a line in the song where she, where she goes if there is so much I must be can I still just be me the way I am so you see 
she has she feels like she has this kind of she she feels like she is a small part of the planet and she really doesn't know who she is and she is well worried we see that Kiara is obviously very confused about her state in the world and what world really is and the song finishes with Kiara looking in a distance that she sees a, a bird like fly away then we go back to Zira and the exiled Linus's group and we see that they're not in a really good condition they are fighting f not fighting well they do not have food water and all of that and and we meet two uh, other i would say uh, yeah two other kids but one of them is a teen but okay we meet nuka and vitani which are um the children of zira and i believe scar i might be wrong but they are uh zira children and you can clearly see that nuka the older brother is really frustrated by the all the affection and the well affection is not the correct word but all the attention that zira is giving to kovu because he feels like well because he should get that attention because he's uh, well, her son and at, and then we co uh, nuka mentions <laughs> mentions that um scar is not his real father and that he is refers to kovu we realize that a uh, scar has picked kovu like i mean like this <laughs> to be his like heir if you may to take over simba and pride rock once um He's gone so we know that he is uh, like a replacement if you may for Scar and then Zero arrives with Kobu and then Zero mm, like punishes if you say both Nuka for letting him go because he was supposed to take care of him he was supposed to watch him out but he didn't and for Kobu because well he ran he ran away and then Kobu mentions that he really he just wanted to be her, friends with her, Kiara. And then Zero mentions that oh, so you think that uh, you can just you can be friends with her, and then Simba accepts you to his colony. Oh, what a great idea! But that gives Zero an idea to eventually raise Kobu to like enter Pride Rock. So then there's another song which I love, um, our Lullaby, Lullaby, I forgot all of the song's name, uh, Lullaby, really great song, love it. Again, not as iconic as Scar's villainous song, uh, Be Prepared, but this one is, is a jam, I really, is a gem, <laughs> I really love it. And then fast forward to years later and we see uh rafiki that that monkey that was um friends with uh, simba and his father uh you we can see that uh rafiki is aware of the existence of kovu as well uh he's drawing on his tree he's painting he mentions how kiara is this really has going to be this lovely beautiful kind-hearted lioness kind-hearted girl but then he really he mentions kovu and how he has grown to be this really cold-hearted monster and he says that he's worried about the about things that are coming but then we see uh, mufasa his spirit who still um communicate with rafiki says to him that uh, Kiara and Kovu can be together and that really like that makes Rafiki confused that he says this is never going to happen you are uh, you have lost your mind because you have been up there <laughs> for too long but then he insisted Mufasa he insisted that no this is going to happen I know of it and then he's like okay but you better know what you are doing and then this comes to the second or third a point of um, reason I like this movie a lot the characteristic the, the connection Kiara and Kobu have 
is my favorite. I really love them. In the first Lion King, we know that uh, Simba runs away from Pridrock, he ends up with Timon and Pumbaa, and then I believe like maybe three years later, Nala finds him and asks him to come back to Pridrock. And the thing I didn't like about the first movie was the obvious, uh, the romance between Nala and Simba. Don't get me wrong, I think they are really good together, I really do like them as a ship, but it was way too fast for my taste because yeah i know you were like childhood friends and all of that but you haven't seen simba in three years and like just that one moment is enough for you to f fall in love i it just it feels unrealistic to me but in this one we really have a full on development between these two characters Kiara and Kobu they start off as maybe friends because like or yeah, I think I do consider them friends when they were like children and then to enemies because like Kobu's intention was to hurt Kiara and kill Simba so enemies then to lovers by the end of the movie and I really love that I do love me a good enemies to lovers and i think this one is like one of those good examples just a really good vibe i love it so we uh, right after rafiki says that uh i don't think they're gonna work but i give you a chance we go back to a shot of kovu who now has grown to be if not an adult a teenager a young adult who He's, um, he's talking to his mother about how he's going to avenge Scar, how he's going to kill Simba and take over Pride Rock. Then we go back to Kiara, who as we see now has grown to be a uh, mature lioness and she's going to have her first, you know, hunt. And she begs her father to let her do this on his own, on her own, and Simba, well, gives her a promise, but then right after Kiara leaves, he again ascends Timon and Pumba after her. And as we see, she, uh, she has many times trying to get to a, I think it was a, a gazelle. I think that was it. And, well, she cannot do it. She makes noise. She's um, just not the best hunters in the world. And then she, he notices that Timon and Pumba are after, him, after her. She gets really upset with her father and how he is never giving her a chance and then she runs away to the outside of Pride Rock and Timon and Pumbaa are very much very stressed and they go get her father and while Kiara is running to the for I, I call it forbidden world I do not know the name to the outside to the, to, of Pride Rock we see Nuka and Mitani trying to start a for forest fire to get Kiara uh, into a fire accident so that Kovu can come and save her so that he can get into Pride Rock and that's exactly what happens. Kiara gets stuck into the fire, she passes out, then Kovu comes and saves her. Then uh, they, Ko Kiara is first really uh, confused about who he is who why did he uh, save him and then she realized that oh it's Kovu then come Simba, Nala and I think yeah and other lionesses Simba is really uh, again really angry <laughs> and he says to Kiara that no you no longer have to go out to hunt because you almost got yourself killed but then she said no I was okay Kovu right here, Simba realizes who Kovu is and they started to roar at each other, I, I guess, and then uh, he realizes that Kovu has actually saved Kiara and asks him, why did you do that? And he says that I want, Kovu says that I want to join the prize rock. And Simba is really hesitant and I'm like, no, 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 you are an exile, you do not belong here, but then, well, Kovu says that. I ran away of them uh, because I didn't like 
them and of course these are all of his original plan so then because um kiara was saved by kobu simba eventually gets him to pride rock kobu promised kiara that he would actually take her to you know hunt will help her to do all of that jazz but uh, he um, he wants to also take simba out and when he once one morning he wanted to do that while simba was you know out drinking water he wanted to jump and kill him kiara comes and says that yeah please go and let me teach like teach me to be a good hunter and well kobu hesitantly accepts and then we realize in the training training scene that kiara is really bad at hunting she makes a lot of noise and kobu is like so then we see Kobu teach her about the hunt, says that you feel the earth beneath your paw and we know that Kobu is a hunter, he grew up being like that, he never had any fun in his life. So he wants to attack a bunch, he sees a bunch of birds flying in a distance and he knows that someone must be there. So he attacks, Lord and behold, there is a Timon and Pumbaa munching on some worm and insects like it always and uh kobe is like what's happening right here because he's obviously really really confused like i said kobe never had any sort of fun in his life so yeah then this cuts to a moment uh, of a sweet moment between all of them if i do say so myself um timon asks Kobu to do a roar so the birds can fly away. Kobu really doesn't get it, so Kiara does it, and then Kobu repeats after her, and then then they chase after Timon and Pumba so so they can have fun. And Kobu mentions that why did you do that? This wasn't a part of our training. Then Kiara says, "Training? This is just for fun." And Kobu again really hesitantly says, "Fun?" Because like we like I said before, Kobu didn't have this sort of fun he doesn't know what fun is because he grew up to be like this and it makes him really complicated a uh, character then they run away from a bunch of rhinos they hide into a tiny cave a tiny like place ow my neck and well they have this sweet kiss on the cheek like and Kiara accidentally gives him a uh, kiss on the cheek and it's just best thing ever i really do love them the romance between these two is just ah chef kiss and then there is a scene of them uh together um we, uh, with like kobo and kiara talking and they are stargazing and kiara says uh, that this one looks like a bunny and kobo mentions that the the other well a star looks like a two lions killing each other over a meat and then you again see how different these two individuals are because again Kiara grew up grew up to be loved he knows what uh well he sees almost she sees good in everything while Kobu is exactly the opposite of her and well we again this might be just Kobu's tactic to get Kiara to really feel uh, sorry and to emotionally manipulate her if you may but i do believe that he really when he says that he has never he, he has grown up to be like this he means it because we see him be like that in the movie and he just really wants to love someone and be loved from by others then we again see another cute love song Yupendi really catchy song by Rafiki and this is a really cute song I love the um, like the scenery for that the music video if you may for that scene then they go to Pride Rock then they want to sleep he uh, Simba says that you can come and sleep into the well the actual cave and not in the out and we see Vitani looking at uh, uh, Kobu from like far far away she expects him to well attack him like he originally had planned to do so but 
he doesn't he doesn't attack Simba he actually goes to the cave because he had the chance to do so but he didn't because he actually starts to like Simba like Pride Rock and like Kiara of course so Vitani goes back to her mom Zira tell, told her that I saw this he's doing that and then Zira is obviously re really uh, frustrated she said that no 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 you know he cannot betray us and all of that so next morning I believe Simba takes Kovu for a one-on-one -on -one talk, if you may, father and son talk, and then unfortunately he is attacked by Zira, and then Zira says, good job Kovu that you brought him here, and that moment Simba realizes what Kovu's true intentions are, and Kovu's trying to explain that, no, 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 I didn't want to do that anymore, um, he gets attacked, Simba gets attacked, he runs away while he was trying to go over a what do you call this a dam if you may I mean you can see uh, there are a lot of logs like like on top of each other and Nuka the oldest son wants to go after Simba to like kill him and to make her, um, his mother proud but unfortunately logs fell on him and that like <laughs> Nuka is gone and I really do feel bad for him he wasn't like a good guy but his death was it made me really sad because all he ever wanted to do was to make his mother proud and his mother dare I say even if she cared for him we never actually saw it on screen so his death really made me really really sad and um, then Zero attacks Kovu, he she gives him a scar exactly like Scar, which can I say a Scar's name is really, <laughs> really <laughs> like uh, odd because all of the other characters had like Mufasa, Sarabi, Nala, Simba, and then this poor guy's name was Scar. <laughs> like damn, okay. <laughs> anyway, he gets the scar just like his adopted father, if you may, and then he runs away. Zero is like that's it. I'm going to attack um, Pydrag Simba on my own right now. So then, cut back to Pydrag. We see Simba wounded. Uh, he tells everyone what happened, and Kiara is really obviously upset about the fact that Kovu has like done this. She insisted that okay, no, listen to him. He is not like that. We see Kovu come to Pydrag. And well, he's again exiled from Pride Rock. Pride Rock. So basically, he has nowhere else to go. He's exiled from both of the colonies. He's exiled from Pride Rock and from his mother. So now he literally has no place to go. And then there's another song. He's not one of us. Again, really love that song. I love every single song in this movie. There's not a single song that I do not like. It, it, they're all really good, really catchy. And then Kovu runs away and Kiara is like, please father, reconsider what you're doing. Then father, his father, Simba says, no, you're not going anywhere. You're staying here. And then she, uh, he says to him that, she, Kiara says to him that you do not know him, which is true we, because Simba didn't listen to him correctly and then Simba says like I have to do what my father did and then Kiara says you will never be your father you will never be Mufasa then she runs away crying she gets out of Pride Rock by a hidden way goes looking for Kobu then comes this beautiful beautiful song love will find a way Oh my god, love that song. This song was my favorite throughout the entire movie. We see Kiara looking for Kovu. She sees a reflection of her own in the water. She sees that she's incomplete, meaning that Kovu is, Kovu is, like, Kovu is not there because like Kovu was her other half in many ways. Then there is a line which say, which goes, I may not be brave or strong or smart, but somewhere in my 
Secret heart, I know love will find a way. And that, that, that thing, when I say to, to you that I related to that single, like, lyric way more than I ever did to the first uh, Lion King, I mean it. That hit, uh, that maybe hit home for me, I don't know. I just really love that, that one uh, line, Chef Kiss. Like I said, again, Kiara's character really reconnect connects with me. So, and then we see Kobu comes. They they embrace each other. They hug. They play. Song finishes. Kobu says that let's run away together. Let's start a colony together. Then Kiara is like, no, our home is with our people. And then they, well, they want to go back. But unfortunately, unfortunately, Zira is planning attack. Zira is going to attack Pride Rock, and well, she does. She comes to Pride Rock. We see um, animals leaving because they know there is going to be a war between um, the two. See them like fight each other, then. Kova and Kiara come, they stop the war and Kiara says to her father that stop this and he, he he's like stay out of this, it's none of your business then Kiara says that um, we are one um, and then he she mentions to, his fa to her father that uh, his father says that they Kiara doesn't let him finish, she, and she says, they, us, look at them, they are us, what differences do you see? Meaning that, well, she was correct, they were like lionesses, <laughs> like him, like her and her father. Orders uh, her daughter Vitani to attack, Vitani is like no mother, she has a point, the fight is unnecessary. And then Zira is like, if you do not want to fight, you are going to die with them. And that makes other lionesses really cautious and really almost disappointed with her. They join Simba. And Simba is like, yeah, let it go. It's over. You, There's nothing else. Like, you are done. But then Kiara attacks Simba. That's no, right. Zira attacks Simba. Kiara jumps in and they fell off mm, to the... They fell off the cliff and then the dam breaks and uh, well Kiara trying to save Zira she is like give me your hand I can save you Zira doesn't and she eventually falls to her death and well she drowns then Kiara and all of the other characters they reconcile Simba is Simba says sorry to Kobu and He's like, I made a mistake. You are one of us, and I'm sorry for treating you like like this. And all the other lionesses that were exiled come back to Pride Rock, and they the movie finishes, and we see by Mufasa saying to Simba that, "Well done, my son. Uh, we are one." And that's the movie. <laughs> Yeah, I most of it really comes back to how I see Kiara. I see a lot of myself in her. I feel like she's a really relatable character. Again, to me, not maybe not to you guys, but to me, she was really, really relatable. Her uh, struggles, her growth, her lack of knowledge, and uh, it is really like connected with me. And Kiara's relationship with Kobu is really something I really hold dear to my heart. And like I said, I do love me a good enemies to lovers. And this one is one of those movies that I think did it justice. And it was really good and well made. And um, what else do I like about this movie? I liked all of the songs. Um, they were really catchy and good. I Simba's character in this movie was, you know, complicated. He was not a bad father, but he was definitely a father who didn't give um, 
cure enough chances he because he thought what he was doing was also correct he was equally as stubborn as kiara so yeah the one thing i didn't really like about this movie was lack of nala like she was in the movie she had her own moments but i feel like as the mother of kiara and well wife of simba you would expect her to i don't know show a little bit more of her own opinion like she we can see that she's on her daughter's side but she doesn't really speak against simba and like doesn't say her own opinion which i find found kind of like awkward and like underwhelming because in the first lion king nala has her own moment has he she is her own character she gets into arguments with simba but in this movie she doesn't and that's one of the reasons um uh, that's the one thing i do not like about this movie and but uh and besides that i really do love this movie i feel like it is really underappreciated people need to talk about it more and yeah i really recommend it if you guys haven't seen it if, if you guys didn't know that a second lion king existed i really suggest you guys to go and watch it it's really good i will give it a mm, solid well a solid 7.5 out of 10 i do love it it has its own flaws it's not as good as the first movie but it is a movie that really was nostalgic to me really special to me i have seen that movie a lot like i it's just the fact of that i again the character kiara is all back uh comes back to kiara the fact that i can relate to her this much is really something i admire a lot and yeah that's it i yeah i think i mentioned all the things i want to say about this movie again Cole and kiara's relationship top notch love the romance that was can i talk <laughs> love the romance that was like growing between them and it was really they had her own they had their own moments and their struggle they brought out the best in each other Kobu taught, taught Kiara to be more independent, more brave, more um, just be sure of herself because, well, Kiara, we see that she wasn't really sure when because um, she could, when she didn't, couldn't hunt, she was really frustrated and Kiara uh, did uh, the same with Kobu. She brought out the fun, the joy, uh, the fact that he can be loved um, in him and yeah they they really complete uh, complete each other and i really i just love this movie so so much so anyway uh we come to the end of the video uh this was me just talking about a uh, lion king 2 like i said i do really love this movie go watch it and if you like this video be sure to comment i will definitely read your comments and like subscribe Share the video if you want and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye.